So, we just got our new VW up today. And today's job. Ha! The micro camper. <sighs> it's never going to be a car again. Tomorrow's job fix the front door. You two. What's going on? Nothing. So, why have I bought a VW up, you ask? The answer is, number one, it's a one litre engine. Number two, it's 20 pounds a month tax. Number three, it's ULES compliant, so you can drive it in London. Number four, it's absolutely tiny. Number five, I bought it from the dealer for 5,300 and something pounds, but I can pay monthly for four years, so it's 100 pounds a month. Woohoo! Secondly, I wanted a VW camper and I can't afford one because VW make them too expensive. Why do they do that? Who's going to buy a VW California when it's 50 grand? No one. But this thing, for example, five grand two years guarantee, two years MOT, all parts and services included, 35,000 miles on the clock, new cam belt, everything, all for £5,000. Fantastic. So I'm going to turn this into a VW Micro Stealth Camper. <sighs> so let's have a look around. Little beers, by the way. Absolutely fantastic. 10 for... I think £3.40. So, this little car. Let's have a look inside. The kids have been in there all day. As you can see, they've made a little camp in here. We'll get the kids stuff out. Put the seat back. Right. Very clean and tidy inside. Very, very simple. Nothing crazy going on with the steering wheels. Nothing crazy going on on the dash. Just, just dead simple. Fantastic. Very, very, very clean. I've got to say. So, what am I going to do with this car? First things first, I'm going to take the full interior out. I'm going to take these seats out and all of the mounts that come with it. I'm going to take out the back seats and all of the mounts that come with those. We're going to take out all of the seat belts and all of the mounts at the back. Let's go and have a look around the back and see what else there is in there. We're going to have a roof rack put on here and we're going to put a big skylight in there so that we can see at night. We're going to take all of this stuff out, all of this out, all of these plastics, all the back seats everything's coming out and then we're going to see how much space is in there and the best position for me to lie whether it's head that way or head this way i presume it's head this way but we might as well just double check hey i went for the four door option simply because i wanted to be able to get in and out of the back without having to upset the front and i want to build a barrier in between the front and the back similar to what i did on the golf so that it's absolutely a sleeping zone nothing to do with the front cockpit of the vehicle so from here all of this is going to be boarded out boarded up the back once all of this is out and we might be able to make the most of some of this as storage but it's a great little car it's going to be fantastic to strip out and we'll see how much space we have in here and hopefully there's enough space for me to sleep Oh. Aha! Right, let's start taking stuff out. None of this is ever going back in, is it, really? The parcel shelf. Out it comes. out. That'll give me a bit more depth. I'll show you in 
inside. It's really, really deep. I mean, I'm super surprised how much depth I've got in here. So once I get this spare wheel out, I'm going to have so much space in here. I honestly didn't realise how deep it was. What's that say? Huh. Right. Next is the seats. <sighs> seats out. Lovely. Oh, loads of space. Micro camper. <laughs> so they've got sensors on the belts. So I've got to connect those wires to uh, to stop that sensor going off. Probably give this a good old vac out as well before the next step. And remove these plastics so that I get a nice bit of space that I can put some vel trim, stretchy carpet over that and maybe grind these off and these these bits as well so I can make the most of the depth. This will be the point where I create the flat floor, keep the carpet I think, it's quite nice and this will be where the batteries go for um, uh, charging my phone and to have the inverter and all of that stuff and the wall will come up here. So quite a lot of space, let's, uh, let's get this front seat out.